What's up guys, Legacy 4x4, Matt here, back again. This time we're working on my new daily driver. It's a 1997 Dodge 2500. Love the truck, love the engine, love the drivetrain. Uh, not so much in love with the interior. So that's what we're gonna work on today. I'm gonna try my hand at some upholstery. So like I said, here's how the interior looks. You know, it's got the typical crack dash. I want to reform me, put some nice little tape on that. I guess I should tell you guys the plan. My plan for this is to do everything from the carpet all the way up to the headliner. I got a new carpet in the mail. We're going to do some nice mass backing with also some heat insulation, sound deadening, just, you know, just to be safe. And then for the headliner, I just got some new material. We'll get to that when we get there. But I think I'm going to be able to do everything but the seats and probably wrapping the doors. It's a little too hard of a contour for me. I'm probably going to have to take that to a professional upholstery shop to do. But we're going to try and get as much done as we can ourselves because, you know, at the end of the day, I like doing things myself. I take pride in doing things myself. So, okay, I know I said workbench and uh, I didn't actually mean my workbench because my finished pieces I have laying on the ground. So what I've been doing is I wanted to try my hand at this a few times before I brought it to the camera. That way I didn't look ultra stupid. But what I've been doing is just taking, this is bonded leather. I have it glued and taped to the back. I'm about to staple this in. I'm waiting on a nice staple gun to get in the mail before I can start stapling. But all I'm doing is doing a little bit of bonded leather and some glue for right now. Nice upholstery glue that keeps everything nice and tight. As you can see, I got some panels done already. Nothing too major, but the biggest thing is I'm not really good at this. You know, this is my first time really doing this like ever, so I don't want to like act like I can tell you guys what to do because I've just been doing research myself. But what I can do is show you how they turned out. Like I said here, like are the sun visors, you know, this is the two patterns. It's going to be this alligator and then it's going to be that bonded leather. Those are the two patterns, you know, not the prettiest, but not the worst. You know, it's good enough for me. And if anything, I can come back and I can uh, redo things I don't like. My process for doing this has been really simple. I'm just finding a piece that I want to put a skin on. I get some material laid out. You know, I put it down in the middle of the material where I know I'm going to have excess fabric on each side. You know, I test to make sure that my fabric has enough, you know, area to pull over and everything's going to be good to go on that part. Cut the fabric out, throw some glue on, and then, you know, tack it all in. That's the process I've been doing. For these nice easy pieces, it's not that hard. You know, it's it's difficult, but it's not the end of the world. But like I said, for things like the door panel where it's just really hard, you gotta have pockets sewn. I'm, you, you can obviously see I tried and it didn't turn out so good, so I took it off because I wasn't happy with it. I'm probably gonna end up taking those to an upholstery shop and letting them do the like last, you know, hopefully 20% of the work and I'll have the rest done myself. So that's the goal, that's the plan. All right, so we're back at the table. I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of this material out that I'm gonna use. Once this material is cut, I can get ready to, you know, do a nice little practice test wrap, and then I can throw some glue down, and we can do a final wrap of this piece. As you can see, I'm wasting quite a bit of material. It's not because I'm trying to. Like I said, I'm just a novice at this, and you know, if I waste material but I get it right, I'll feel much better about it as opposed to, you know, wasting material, getting it wrong, and having to redo it. So that's my thinking on it. Looks like that's about right. It's good enough for me to work with. So now what I'm going to do is spray down both these surfaces with some glue, let it set till it's tacky, and then I'm going to start working the material on. All right, time to let it sit. Let the glue take, let the glue do its job, and I will uh, see you guys in a little while when this is all set, and uh, we can get ready to throw some staples through it. All right, guys, welcome back to the upholstery video. We're going to uh, 
move on and start installing some things and that's going to be the carpet and the headliner i went ahead and i had to take a little break from you know starting to upholster the dash because uh I made that new dash that you guys already saw on uh, you know the previous video so yeah so we're gonna start by uh, tearing most of these seats out and we're gonna knock out the carpet and the headliner and then you know some of these body panels I am gonna take to an upholstery shop to get done really nicely let's tear this carpet out uh, you guys saw a time lapse of me doing this already on the red Dodge doing a bucket seat interior swap so Nothing different. If you want, you can go rewatch that one, but I'm just going to skip ahead until the seats are out and uh, we're getting ready to pull the carpet up and install the new one. All right, it's basically magic. We got the entire, you know, old carpet ripped up. It's in the trash already. As you can see, I did put a little bit of like Siles liner. I had a little bit left over. Not quite enough, but that whole back part of the cab isn't really a big deal. So, you know, I figured it's worth it's worth doing. It's probably going to help, you know, no matter what. It's not like it's gonna hurt anything. Carpet's gonna sit right on top of that. So um, there's like a lot of projects going on right now. And uh, that means that I don't have enough room to record me installing this carpet. You know, it's really not a big deal. I'm gonna lay it in, I'm gonna cut some holes. I'm gonna shape it so it fits around everything. And then, you know, we're gonna have carpet. So I'll check back in when the carpet's done and then uh, we can start on that headliner that uh, is non-existent and sitting in my closet right now. there's the chocolate suede headliner. I did not want to just keep showing you guys the same thing, the time lapse, it's just the same thing. Just glue, staple, fold, keep moving up, work slowly, make sure you get glue on all the crevices and you can call it good. Uh, I didn't have any flat ground, so that's why I do it inside. And I uh, came out here and I cut the holes for all the big parts that need to go in there. So other than that though, this one's done. It's getting a little dark out, so I'm gonna come back in the morning, install it, and then we can decide a color scheme. All right, guys, that's the upholstery. We got the carpet in. We got most of the alligator inserts that we already made installed. Headliners installed. That suede chocolate looks great up there. That's how it all turned out. Everything's coming along nicely. It's all coming together, which is, uh, you know, great for us. Next step is going to be removing those two door panels on, you know, both pa passenger and driver's side just because those are going to get sent to an upholstery shop because there's some pockets in there that I can't sew and it's just I won't do it right and I know it won't look very good so I'm going to take those to a shop and let a professional do those. Step after that is uh, getting the CAT scan covers in the mail. When I get the CAT scan covers in the mail I'm going to change the seats myself at least try to using the CAT scans kit so really stoked for that future progress but yeah I will uh, check back in in a little bit. All right guys, we just got back from the upholstery shop and uh, I went ahead and installed the door skins already and I'll show you what that looks like here. Here we go. That's what the driver's doors look like. I also went ahead and threw in some diamond floor mats with a nice leather wheel cover, as you can see right there. Let me get you guys a good zoom here. Yeah, so don't mind the one seat in there. Like I said, the next video that comes up is going to be uh, me putting the cat skins on all the seats in here, which will make it look 10 times better because the cat skins are nice mahogany leather and they're going to really add to the overall look and hue of all the inside colors. That's how that headliner still looks. There's the dash. So yeah, really happy with that, looking real pretty. Let me walk around to the other side and give you guys a nice little view. All right, like I said, don't mind the seat. That's just gonna be there for now until we put those cat skins in. Here's how we're looking. Other side's looking nice and pretty. That alligator skin and that tan, I think really pops super well together. Let's get a little pan down from the suede headliner with the alligator top all the way to that dash. Going into the carpet with the leather shingle cover and those little leather formats. Those are gonna look really pretty once uh, once those ugly gray seats are, you know, replaced with the catskin leather. So that's where I'm going to end this one, though. This one's going to be uh, over here because the next video that's going to come out is going to be me doing the catskins. And you'll see that a few days after this one comes out just so I can uh, get it all, you know, uploaded together. So. 
But yeah, that's the 90% solution to the interior updates on this old 97 Dodge. Next thing coming up is going to be those leather seats. It's going to tie it all together. It's going to look real pretty. Really excited. Ooh.